A couple of months ago I showed you the final prototypes of the Motone Customs brass chain adjusters and at the time I promised that when they were released I would let you know and I would show you how to fit them. Now if you missed that video or you're new to the channel and you just don't know about it, these replace the standard CNC machined alloy adjusters that come with the bike. They're made from a very high quality weather resistant brass and they're made using a hot forging process, machined and then hand polished to give a nice vintage look. I know a lot of people have been waiting for these, Motone tell me that they're getting emails almost daily asking when they're going to be ready. And as of today they have a limited production batch of I think they said 20 which should be available on their website now and in the video description down below I will leave a link directly to them. But as I say I did promise a how to video showing you how to fit them. It's quite a simple process really. I'll quickly show you it on the T120, a bike with a centre stand and then I'll show you it on the Bobber Black which is basically the same process. The only difference being that you need a paddock stand to lift the back wheel up off the floor. Now as far as I'm aware these fit just about all of the current liquid cooled Bonneville twins. Now it literally is only a 5 or 10 minute job but in order to swap the left hand adjuster the rear wheel axle needs to be removed because the axle is actually captive on the left hand side. Now I know this may sound a little bit daunting to some people but if you're careful this can quite easily be done without even disturbing the chain. It's just a matter of slipping the axle out, swapping that adjuster over and then reinserting the axle. In fact, in both cases, I didn't even find it necessary to readjust the chain when I'd done this job. All you're really going to need is a torque wrench that's capable of measuring up to and beyond 110 newton meters and a 27 millimeter socket with a ratchet or T handle or whatever you're going to use and a small rubber mallet. If you do find that you need to adjust the chain you shouldn't but if you do you'll also need a 12 and a 13 millimeter open-ended spanner. First of all crack open the axle nut on the right hand side and remove it completely. Behind it there's a stainless steel washer or spacer. Also remove this. Now you can reuse this if you want to but Motone have actually included a polished stainless steel spacer which is slightly thicker and they've done that for aesthetic purposes to sort of tidy the whole job up and leave less exposed thread on the axle when the job's complete just to make the whole thing look a bit neater and tidier. Now I always find it handy to put a couple of pieces of wood or something like that underneath the rear tyre either so that when you remove the axle it doesn't drop or doesn't drop too far that just makes the reassembly a bit easier. When you've removed the nut and the washer, gently tap your axle to get it moving and then when enough of it protrudes at the captive end, take a firm hold of it and pull it all the way out. While you're doing that, it might be an idea just to hold on to your back wheel just to control it as it drops. And that's the job half done. Now at this point on the T120 I noticed a little problem and this is what annoys me about Triumph. They proclaim themselves to be a premium brand with all those bright shiny bits on the outside and the swish electronics but this is basic mechanics and they have a really nasty habit of doing things like this where they think the customer isn't going to see it. Axles should be greased up not particularly for lubrication but for protection against corrosion and the rear axle on my T120 had never seen one drop of grease in its entire life from the factory. I suspect it's probably going to be a similar case with the front axle as well but I need to do a fork oil change at some stage so I'll have a look at that in due course. There's absolutely no excuse for this. This is a critical weight bearing part of the bike but that axle was burn dry and where it had come in contact with the bearings there was visible corrosion. So before I could reinsert this axle I had to clean it all up with some fine grade wet and dry. Luckily it was just serviceable but I am going to have to look at replacing it at some stage in the future. I then greased it up as it should have been from the factory before reassembly. Even if your axle does still have some grease on it it's always worth replenishing that before reassembly on a job like this. I use the Fuchs RG2 racing grease probably capable of a far higher performance than in this application but I do think it's worth it. 
Now before sliding the axle back in, take your left hand brass adjuster, the new one, and slide it onto the axle, making sure that it's the right way around. Then insert your axle through the rear axle lugs, through your wheel. You may need to jiggle the wheel around a little bit. I did when I was actually doing it on the T120, and unfortunately I stepped in front of the camera, so I can't show you that. This is probably the most difficult part of the whole procedure, but it's no great shakes. And when you've inserted it all the way in, it's time to put your new right hand adjuster in, and then reassemble everything with the axle nut. Now, this footage that I'm showing you is actually when I had the prototype, and it was before I got the new stainless steel spacer so in this case I just reused the existing Triumph washer make sure that both adjusters but right up to the chain adjustment bolts there should have been no need to disturb these so there shouldn't be any chain adjustment necessary when you've done that with your torque wrench carefully tighten the axle nut up to 110 Newton meters when you do this it's a good idea to put a workshop wipe or a thin piece of cloth over the axle nut just to protect those shiny new adjusters from being marked by your 27 millimeter socket and that's basically all there is to it now we'll quickly go through the same procedure with the bobber as i say it's more or less identical there isn't really any difference obviously the bobber only has a side stand so you are going to need a paddock stand for this and once you've got the bike up on the paddock stand it's exactly the same crack open your axle nut and remove it then remove your washer then using a small rubber mallet or the palm of your hand gently tap the axle through until there's enough axle on the left hand side for you to be able to grab hold of it and work it out as before it will help to support and manipulate the rear wheel with your spare hand so that you can ease the axle out once the axle's out let your tire rest on those planks of wood apply some more grease if you think it needs it and then thread your new left hand adjuster onto the axle reinsert the axle put your new right hand adjuster in place and then either replace your existing triumph washer or use the new one that moton have provided you with replace the axle nut make sure that both your new adjusters are butted right up to the adjustment bolts and then tighten the axle nut up to 110 newton meters now this entire job from unlocking your garage door to standing back and admiring your handiwork shouldn't take any more than 15 to 20 minutes i think these adjusters are a really unique accessory they've been made using traditional methods hot forging and hand polishing and what i do like is the fact that the hand polishing hasn't completely removed all evidence of that hot forging process no two pieces are the same there are very slight marks by that hot forging left behind and it's nice to see that it's nice to see the difference between something like this and that cold clinical almost too perfect finish that you tend to get from cnc machining the process has left a sort of a provenance a story of how each of those parts were made and as i've noticed they are an accessory that gets noticed by the discerning rider when you're out and about on your bike as i've said i believe that moton have 20 of these it's an advanced production batch there will be more batches coming through in the next few weeks although i haven't been given any time scales i'll leave a link in the video description down below thank you very much for watching i hope you've enjoyed this video and found it useful if you have please leave a like and subscribe to the channel i will of course be back next week so until then ride safely and i'll see you soon